Metabolic syndrome. What is it? It's the quartet of high fasting blood sugars, high blood pressure, obesity with a widened circumference in your abdomen, okay? And high triglycerides. These four things are a marker of the inflammatory process in your body. And all four things are treated with the same thing, eating less meat, chicken and dairy and cheese, eating less eggs, less poultry, less turkey, less uh, dairy, and more beans and lentils, more fruits and vegetables, more nuts, but in moderation because it has a lot of saturated fat. But this is the same diet that will help with your kidney disease, that will help with your fatty liver. The problem is with the inflammation. Yes, sugar is a problem, but it's the tip of the iceberg. The real root cause of the problem is that we're eating too much animal-based protein. I've been able to take people off of insulin, off of blood pressure medications. I've been able to treat people with PCOS who have irregular periods and regain their fertility with a whole foods plant-based diet. I'm telling you, a whole foods plant-based diet, it is not a religion, but it is a call for everybody to wake up and decrease the amount of meat, chicken, dairy that they're eating. We're eating meat, chicken, and dairy with every meal, and we're becoming fatter and unhealthier. Our kids are having early signs of heart disease and fatty liver. And I was so blessed after medical school residency to run into this book called The China Study that looked at all the studies promoting eating more fruits and vegetables, less meat, chicken, and dairy. I'm not saying it's haram. I'm not saying it's forbidden to eat meat, chicken, and dairy. Uh, you want to be a Muslim? Eat it in Eid. In Eid, we make the sacrificial sacrifice. But it's not meant for everyday people. The Prophet didn't eat meat, chicken, dairy every single day. The Prophet was probably a semi-vegetarian. He only ate meat and chicken in special occasions. And if you want, I'm not telling you that it's haram. That's not my, I'm just telling you what's healthy. I'm telling you eat less meat, chicken, and dairy, more fruits and vegetables, and it will help with all of your conditions. So there's not one diet that helps with one condition and another diet that helps with another. It will help with your arthritis because it's inflammation. Inflammation is the root cause of all these problems. And yes, added sugar is not good. Sucrose is toxic to the liver when you, when you eat more than 70 grams a day. Sucrose is in very small amounts in fruits and in fruits. That's okay. But to take straight up sugar in your drinks and straight up sugar in your cakes and croissants and the, and the, and the dairy in your, in your cake croissant and in your egg for breakfast and then your chicken salad for lunch and then the steak for dinner, that's too much. And sorry to be so passionate.